YouTube. So if you guys can't already see what I have here today, it is the IRP individual racing parts short shifter for the BRZ, FRS, and GT86. As always, I found this part on the used market page for a really good deal. And again, whenever I buy these things, I make sure that nothing is wrong with them. Like this um, reverse lockout, springs, the build, no cracks on the welds. IRP short shifter does have an infamous rattle that people talk about. And I'm not really sure where that rattle is coming from yet. Hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, then I'm gonna go ahead and work my way out to actually find that rattle. Just that this plate right here that's held on to this by these four screws was a little loose even after tightening all those screws down to spec. These washers are a perfect fit. So if you guys are wanting to get the shifter, the washers you might need are these ones right here. So it's an ever built flat washer M6 class 10.9. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and install this to the car. Hopefully I don't have any problems, but as you guys know, every time you try to not have problems, you get a lot of problems. So now this is a tedious install. So I've read, so hopefully it all goes out well. All right, so here we got the jack and the jack stand because we are going to lift up the car to get to the underside of it to take out a couple of stuff. So finally got the car in jack stand. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the interior trim and the center console to get to that shifter boot. First thing we're gonna do is to take off the shift knob. And I can't because I try hard to stick that off, but I can't seem to get it. Oh my god. Oh, the shift knob is in there. Real good. I might need a little help. Uh, depending if I can get it out or not. I might try using this, but it didn't fit. So hopefully, with a little gentle persuasion. There we go. So, ship knob, off to go. Next up is to lift up this shift boot. And to do that, you would have to pry it off from this top first and just pull straight up. There we go. So, and don't forget that there is a wire back here that you have to take off, and you should just, there we go, should be out. Alright, so next step up is to remove these side panels right over here, and also the other side. Make sure you don't break any clips. That finally, after that's done, is this is where it gets kind of iffy because I've only watched or read reviews of people that have a regular center console without the push to start button. So you guys are gonna go ahead and figure this out with me, and we'll see how to take this thing off if it's the same or not. So, like they said, there should be thing here oh, there we go there's a total of six bolts that I need to take off which is one over there, two, three, four, finally, five and six. All right, so I got the center console removed. Just gonna figure out how to take up this cigarette lighter in here so I'm just gonna let it stay there and hang 
But other than that, we're gonna go ahead and take out the stock shifter. All right, finally we can take off the shifter boot now. To do that, you take off two of these plastic clips. Just simply take them off. All right, got those two. Got this one off. And then finally, you're gonna be greeted with four 12 millimeter bolts that you have to take off. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. This is gone. Take off the rubber boot now as well. Bye, old tank. You've been good to me, but gotta go. And finally, you are gonna be greeted with four 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts that are gonna have to come off. Like so. So now, one thing about this that I found out is this boot, rubber boot thing, where you get, you're get you supposed to take off the the uh, thing that connects to the transmission is pretty hard to take off. So what I did was cut a hole right here, and I'm just going to possibly just wreck it. And if I ever go back to stock, I'll just buy a replacement because there's no way I can take that off without we're actually just ripping it off so either way it's not going to be needed for the new shifter so i'm going to go ahead and just rip it off and take it out so that i can take this off because there's no way i can get to it without taking off that rubber boot in there all right so after wrecking that boot it's now gone i can finally get into that pin right there so i can take off this whole thing ship assembly yeah all right so once you got that pin out all you gotta do is push this thing right here and the ship there should just simply come off and it's not simply coming off jesus christ nothing in this car comes out that easily so i guess i'm gonna have to finesse that again all right so we got a little trick put it on fifth gear and then push. <sighs> okay, maybe catch it on this side. And there we go. It's out. Ooh. Oh Please just come out. Okay. Yep. Oh. And that thing is out finally. Whew. So last thing I have to do is to take off this um stock boot mounting plate thing from underneath the car by loosening up the transmission and drive shaft mounts and then lower the transmission just a tad bit take this out and we should be able to put in the short shifter after that with nothing else to do under the car it sounds simple but i know it's gonna be really hard so here we go all right so i did figure out how to take off the center console completely uh, this plug right here from the cigarette lighter just pull it really hard and it comes right out which is useful because we I am gonna be cutting a piece of it later for the shifter to fit into so I'll set that here oops all right and let's go ahead and go under the car first thing you gotta do is take off that under tray the black one and after that I have my handy jack here now um, I don't, I don't really recommend that, but I tried trying to cut it by kicking it, on, kicking it on the floor, but I couldn't, so that'll, that's, that'll work all right for my use. All right, and then again, you kind of have to take these um, transmission mount. There are 14 millimeters and four of them here, and two of them here as well. After that, you're gonna be taking off two 12 millimeter bolts over there that holds the shifter carrier 
And other than that, that should be it. You should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these two bolts still and work on that. So finally got everything unhooked. The drive shaft mount is unhooked. This thing is unhooked. Those two bolts are gone. And these two pins are also off. I'm not sure yet if I have to take those out. But the next thing I'm gonna do is lower the transmission just a tad bit. All right, that's really scary. But that should be. I'm gonna try that and see if that's good enough and go from there. All right, so got that out after wiggling it a tad bit. That's gone now. So everything that has to do with under the car should be done now. Just gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts again. Two specs, I'm gonna find out what torque they take on. And that should be it. Put back the two clips in here. All right, so everything is tightened. I'm not sure what torque these are supposed to be tightened yet. I'm gonna put that in the description down below and do that later on. But other, but other than everything else under the car, Everything is done. All I have to do is put the shifter in there, put this back on and try it out, which is on, which is what I'm excited for. All right, so I got everything in place. The 12 millimeter bolts are all mounted in. The little transmission thing that you put in there with the washer and clip is in. And finally, I can play around with it. Oh, I gotta tell you guys that this shifter is so much fun to play into. It's just really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. It feels really, really different with that 60% throw reduction. It's just, it, how do I explain it? It feels like I'm not into gear, but I am into gear. It's the best way to explain it. And again, the reverse is going to be when you press this and go that way. And it just feels so crisp and nice, like like it's basically brand new. I really like it. And then I don't really mind it being in here. I mean, kind of my hands do kind of get tired. I want to like kind of shift right here. But race car, right? Either way, that, that feels really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Five, four, three, two, one. It's just, it's just really fast and nice. It's crisp. Thumbs up for that. The last thing you probably should do, shifter-wise, is to adjust the set screws right here to take off a little bit of that play on the shifter itself. Now I've already done that. All you gotta do is put it in first gear and tighten this screw right here with one of these Allen hex screw, simply like that and then the bolt as well so that doesn't move anywhere then that's for first gear and then for the i guess you would say the left side put it on six gear and the same way allen key and small little wrench tighten that up and you should be good to go and finally in order for the center console to fit properly you will need to cut off some of this the center console material so i'm just going to mark it with a sharpie and I do have a Dremel that I'm gonna be using for this. And we should be good to go. So let's cut small and go big. Go. All right, so unfortunately I couldn't find that Dremel, but um, I was able to cut it out. What I did was use my handy dandy heat gun along with some sharp pliers and regular pliers went ahead and cut these two corners and bent it up and sure enough it came off just like that and don't worry about how this looks too much because it's going to be covered by your shifter boot either way so we're going to go ahead and test fit that in the car make sure it works and go from there finally everything's almost finished getting put back together now i did cut a little bit more of what i intended to because uh, this wouldn't clear so I just cut it all the way through so that it clears and then again I guess you kind of lose these two screws right here because I already put back these two screws right in front 
these ones and other than that all i gotta put back on is the ebay e-brake boot thing and the shifter boot and everything should be all good to go don't forget to plug in your traction control or your drift button Hopefully I can update this video on regarding things you could do to kind of fix that rattle issue. I've got a couple of ideas in mind but I haven't done them. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. If you guys can hit that subscribe button, that'll really help out. Other than that, if you have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and leave down in the comments below. As always, see you guys next time. Peace out.